Today we're looking at some of the weirdest and craziest cruises ever planned. If you haven't yet considered subscribing for weekly traveling content, then check out our brand new travel adventure channel linked below. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off with the Conspiracy Cruise. This is not just a play on words, but actually the name of a 2016 conspiracy theory themed cruise on board the Ruby Princess. Conspiracy theorists are always right. You're with me? Give me an amen. The conspiracy cruise had a seminar format, meaning some high profile conspiracy theorists came on board and held lectures and workshops for guests. Five and five is ten, where one plus zero is one again. You see, there is a pattern. Now, what could go wrong when you put together hundreds of conspiracy theorists on a ship in the middle of the ocean? Turns out, quite a bit. Firstly, the passengers, which amongst other things believe the world is ruled by extraterrestrials and human colonies on Mars are watching us from outer space, expectedly were quite paranoid. And when a passenger was seen walking around with a camera, some of the speakers accused him of being a CIA agent spying on them and chased him to his room. For his own safety, that passenger decided to remain locked in his room for the remainder of the cruise and only lived off of room service cheeseburgers. Not quite how he expected this dream vacation to go. And with everyone coming on board with an already pre-existing belief system, which often differed largely from other participants, you might already expect what happened next. Tense discussions turn into aggressive behavior like near fistfights and several accusations of people being lizards, spies, or extraterrestrials. One passenger even later described it as a crazy week-long in-person internet chat room, which I think isn't really a compliment. But when the cruise ended, the drama didn't stop. Some of the conspiracy cruise speakers are outspoken so-called sovereign citizens, essentially people that refuse to acknowledge the government and don't pay taxes. And they were evading law enforcement for a while, until photos of them partying on this cruise ship surfaced online. One of the main speakers, self-proclaimed Mr. I'm Always Right, might have had a time of his life on board, but the second he stepped off the ship, he was welcomed by IRS officials and arrested on 56 counts of tax evasion. And that's in addition to two other passengers who were similarly charged and imprisoned. No wonder they were so paranoid after all. Next up, we have the furry cruise. Now, if you don't know what a furry is, well, it's essentially someone that really likes anthropomorphic animal characters. That is, cartoon animals that behave like humans and they particularly enjoy dressing up as such in conventions worldwide. And since 2005, dozens have come together every year to do this on a ferry cruise. So the next time you're wandering through the promenade on your cruise ship, keep an eye out and you might just spot a rodent roaming around. Moving on from rodents to the number one enemy, the cat. The Mia Mia cruise is fully dedicated to feline lovers, and everyone can join the cruise Except, well, the cats themselves, they have to stay at home. So ironically, you're celebrating your love for your cats by leaving them alone and going on a cruise with people who did the same. So what do you actually do on board? Well, it turns out you get a meow meow goodie bag filled with kitty ears and perfect cat puns you can use for the meow meow mixer, meow meow trivia night, or the meow meow scavenger hunt where you can act like a cat and hunt those pesky birds. Now, the Mia Mia Cruise is definitely an interesting way to get together in a like-minded group and talk about cats and maybe even donate to help sheltered animals find a new home. Next up, we have a crew member's nightmare, the Big Nude Boat, a cruise for nudists. Understandably, we will not be providing many visuals of this cruise, but you can imagine it as being a chartered cruise ship with 2,000 naked passengers roaming around everywhere from the pool to even the buffet. There are only two places on board where clothing is required, and that's the main dining room and the captain's cocktail party. Everywhere else, it's fair game. Now, crew members absolutely hate doing this cruise. They have no desire to look at all those naked bodies. But crew members have found a pretty smart way of getting passengers to cover themselves up voluntarily. A crew member reported them blasting the air conditioning indoors all day long, forcing passengers to wear robes to warm themselves up. He said it forced us to freeze too, but it was completely worth it. Next up, the Flat Earth Cruise. Every year, the International Flat Earth Research Society, the largest organization of its kind, holds a conference where believers of a flat earth system come together to discuss their scientific findings. 
In 2019, the society decided it was time to host a cruise, but not just any cruise. See, this is the flat earth model. They believe that Antarctica makes up an ice wall border surrounding a flat earth. And they were planning to sail to the Antarctica ice wall to see the planet's edge. However, cruise plans ended up getting scrapped before anything could materialize when cruise lines allegedly refused to use a flat earth based navigational system to sail their ships. That's pretty disappointing because I would have loved to see that cruise happen. Ever dreamt of being surrounded by hundreds of bloodthirsty zombies? Me neither, but apparently a lot of people are into that. Introducing the annual 4 day Bahamas Walker Stalker cruise for fans of the series The Walking Dead. The cruise allows passengers to spend their vacation dressed up like zombies, jumping in pools of blood, and attending zombie panels with the creators of the show. Thankfully though, they chartered the whole ship, so no oblivious vacationers ended up getting a scary surprise. There are a couple more extremely weird cruises out there, so if you found this entertaining, make sure to let us know. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing to our brand new second channel, Lyle Travels, for weekly travel adventures. We're hoping to get the channel to 500 subscribers this summer, it would really mean the world to us. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep cruising! Today I'm visiting the hidden eight continents of the world. A new place, a new <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Let me feel alive. Okay, so the conclusion of that is no hotel for tonight. Today I'm going on the world's hottest cruise, so you don't have to. The North Korean military. It's kind of weird, isn't it?